Hi guys, in this video we will discuss the basics of AutoCAD 2007 version. So how do you, what are the things, what are available, what are the toolboxes, all the things we will try to see in this. So if you come to this, this is the AutoCAD 2007 version. So I will double click on it. This is the user interface of the AutoCAD 2007 software. This is how it looks like. In this we will be having the menu bar and we have a workspace. This black color area is called workspace and the bottom we have command prompt line. And in the uh, in the bottom we have other options like snap mode, grip mode, or the mode polar, or snap mode track, BUCS, dynamic, LWD, line weight, model, etc. And we have different toolbars attached to the top and bottom of the grid sphere. Uh, as you can see, you have white space here. You go there and right click there, and is, then you will have a CAD option. On the a CAD option, if you click it, there is this type of thing available. In that you see that the dimension, draw, modify, properties, toolbars are in tick position. These are the four important things which are required for you to draw 2D diagrams. If you want to draw only 2D diagrams, these four will be uh, maximum enough for you to finish the diagram. So these four are definitely needed for you. One is for drawing, one is for giving dimensioning, one is for giving some properties to the to, uh, di drawn diagrams. And the last uh, we can say that um, modification if you want to do, if you want to edit something that is used for modifying. So these four toolbars are definitely necessary. See that those four toolbars are there. So the four toolbars which are uh, ticked there are these things. Properties, Dimension, Draw and here this is the Modify. These are the four toolbars which are definitely required. Once those are attained, you can keep them wherever you want. I am just keeping the Draw toolbar and Dimension toolbar to the side and uh, the Properties toolbar to the top and uh, uh, like uh, this Modify toolbar in the bottom. So in this we will be having these icons where these are all the uh, command commands so either we can view by command or by using the mouse we can click on them and use the command so basically this is a command calling software if you give some command in the command prompt then that command will be executed there the same thing we can be done by using the mouse also if you go if you use the mouse and click on this then the line command will be executed and we can use it. so either way that is we can use the command or we can use the this thing also this uh, uh, icons which are uh, displayed in the toolbar also so coming to the top menu bar we have file edit these are all the things which are there in the file edit and help. These are all the things which are there in the remaining general software also. So let us see what are they. In the file, we'll be having new open. Uh, new is used for creating a new sheet, right? So if you click on the new, then a template sheet will be opened and the template window will be opened. In the template window, we'll select the ACAD. ACAD dot DWT. So drawing template. Drawing template is shown by dot DWT. So the template we are using here for the 2D diagrams is ACAD dot DWT. Then we click on it and we open it. Once you click on the open, here you can see drawing one dot DWG is there now. When I opened the AutoCAD, now if you click on open, it is it is changed it to drawing two dot DWG. So that means a new sheet is open. If you have any doubt, you can you can just use this uh, minimize button for the AutoCAD window. Uh, there you can see two things are there: first drawing and second drawing, two diagrams are there. So that is how you can find out that uh, there are two diagrams which are there here. Okay. Now coming to the open option, if you click on the open option, there if you are uh, using any uh, or if you want to recall any sheet, model sheet or those things and if you want to open them and you check whatever this is there, then we can use the open. So once it is created, we can come back and open it and we can just go through. As well as save, save as options and uh, plot option. So plot is basically something like printing option. So if you want to print something, this plot will be used. How to use the plot uh, and everything is shown in another video that is also shown to you in the, in the description. I have given the video link. You can go through them for using the plot option. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the remaining things. So as well as, as you can see, these tools, whatever the, we have added here by using the toolbars, those all can be seen here also. We can, in, in the tools, we have draw toolbar and the dimension, modify, these are there here also. That means that we can use the modify and we can go to, sorry, we can use the mouse and we can go to the draw dimension modify in the menu bar also, rather than going for the creation of uh, or, uh, keeping them in the toolbars option. Or else we can also give in the command bar, we can give the information that uh, the command name can be written and we can execute them. That way also we can. So that is about it. So... So this is the basic place which we are going to draw. As you can see, X and Y. This is the uh, origin, which origin point we can say. This this is not fixed. It, it can be moved wherever you want. If you are getting some problem that this should not be here, it is coming in between my diagram or anything. Go to the view option. In the view option, we'll be having display. In the display, UCS icon is there. That is user coordinate system. That you can off it. Then it will be gone. Or else we can display UCS icon. If you just uh, uh, click on the origin option. In this origin will be if you are doing this one will be sent to the left bottom corner of this so that it will not come in between your diagrams at all so that is about the basic setting of this so whenever we open the autocad screen this is basically in top view and uh, it is like an infinite length of sheet but we can't draw anything in the infinite length of sheet because if you want to we should confine the area so for that we have a command called limits l i m i t s rather we have a command called limits if you press on the limits and press enter 
then it will be asking you specify lower left corner. So there we will give the 0 and uh, comma 0. 0, comma 0 if you are pressing it, 1 0 will be going here and the other 0 will be coming here. Or else we can also use tab option also. Tab button will be there in the keypad no? that can also be used. So 0, comma 0 and then press enter. After it is pressed, so that means left corner of the sheet is given. So in the same way, we have writing right corner also should be given. So the right corner, which can be given something like 500, 500, 1000, 1000, whatever you like to give. So mostly many of the diagrams will be finished between 500, uh, 500. That is x axis is 500 and y axis is 500. That type of sheet is just enough. So 500, 500 is give, what I'm giving here. So now I have set the limits of the paper, or the sheet which I'm going to draw. That is the work area is fixed now. Now if you want, you can also go to the uh, units option, U-N-I-T-S, units option, and that units option, and that unit option can also be uh, used to uh, like uh, change the different different position, that is, if you want to use 0 only, or 0, 0.0, that means something like, uh, if you want to draw a line of 20 to 30 mm, then it's simply you can use 0 is just precision, or else if you want to draw an angular line of 25 degrees, 0 precision is enough. But if you want to draw something like 20.50, then precision should be 0 0.00. If, in the same way, if you want to have an angle of 25.36, then you should be having 0, 0.00. So depending upon your requirement, you can give the precision value. Or else leave that and we can change it in the drawing option. So I'll discuss in the, that one in the next video. So once this is finished, basically we don't use inches, we use millimeters. So click on the millimeters and OK. So now the sheet is ready for drawing. So once this is finished, we can start drawing. So basically if you are on the AutoCAD or if you come to the screen and double click on the AutoCAD and launch the AutoCAD. Then first thing you have to see is that for drawing ACAD you have to go and in that you have to press dimension, draw, modify, properties. These four toolbars are there or not, you check it. If they are not there, add them. And after adding them, go for the limits option and give the lower left corner and right upper right corner. If you see this, you can understand. So lower left corner is somewhere here and upper right corner is somewhere here. These two should be given. Once this is finished, then you give the units option. In the units, we basically use millimeters, not inches. So therefore, we'll change the millimeters. So once this is done, then you can start drawing whatever you want by using this. Thing. So that is the introduction part of the AutoCAD 2007. In the next video, I'll try to discuss different different toolbars. Bye.